Okay, Captain Mitchell, this is the place. Good luck. So this is mission six uh, for nextgenwalkthroughs.com. So easiest way to get through this part is just uh, send your two guys to cover against that little block down below and then um, take cover up above and just snipe like crazy. This is a pretty fun part. There's a lot of guys to snipe and uh, it's not too difficult. Uh, one thing to look out for though is that there will typically be two soldiers that are going to go on top of the building to the left of you and they're going to be on the same plane as you so they're going to have a decent uh, decent chance of hitting you if you're not paying attention there's only one right there but sometimes there's two or three of them that run up there Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, um, be sure to put your new teammates in uh, in attack mode so then they, they shoot anyone that comes at them. And the sniper rifle I have chosen here is powerful enough that it will kill anybody um, if you hit them anywhere. So if you just command your teammates to get into a better position, or take the last guy out yourself, it's always a good idea to double check and make sure that the area is actually clear, because sometimes your teammates will be wrong. Now I keep the medic here because um, there's a good chance you're going to get shot in this next section. There's a lot of guys and tanks and a whole bunch of stuff so I keep the medic with me. Then I choose the trusty RX-4 Storm, which is one of the most versatile guns in the game. It's really good, you know, all around. It's got a good scope on it and very powerful. So there's one guy that always comes up right there, and if you're not paying attention, uh, he will get you, even though it's right next to a checkpoint, so it's very poorly timed. So now you have some real urban fighting through bust up old houses, busted up old houses. So make sure that both your, uh, you know, your your ghosts that are following you and the infantry are both in attack mode, so that they're going to shoot anybody that they see. And there's two guys in the first set of buildings in front of you, and there's going to be a couple guys in the buildings to your left.
so you don't want to get too far ahead of yourself or else people will start shooting you from two directions which is never good So just keep moving your two different groups of teammates forward through the building. There's a couple more guys before the first artillery piece. And from my experience, there's usually one guy or two guys waiting in that building to your left at the end of the street. Um, but it seems like they moved and I kill them quicker than I usually do. So be sure to keep your eyes open for them. And then there's going to be, I think, four guys up here. There's going to be one guy patrolling out in the middle of the street and then a couple guys in the other building um, to your left. So take the guy out in the middle of the street first and then I like to get a grenade in that room over there by the artillery piece take out as many of them as I can and instead of exposing yourself to the fire uh, what you can do is just back up off the wall oh, I guess I didn't throw a grenade here um, what you can do is back up off the wall and um, but keep the little table between you and the enemies and then just throw the grenade over it so then you're staying behind cover the entire time but you can also get the grenade off And it looks like everyone's dead, but I have my teammates check for me just to make sure. Because my life is much more important than theirs. And I send them across the way because I have killed every single one of my teammates before with this plastic explosive. Because they didn't realize that they shouldn't follow me <laughs> into warehouse setting explosives. 